everyone. Welcome to Storyboard. I'm Shivani Gharat. Pevicol does it again. This Pidilite Industries brand launched Jugal Bandi campaign showcasing the musical journey of two brothers with traditional charm and humor, marking a return of Pevicol's signature creativity. Crafted by Ogilvy India and Kokois Films Prasoon Pandey, as always, the film captures Pevicol's unique storytelling through humorous real-life scenarios for a delightful experience. It also marks as a tribute to the 100th birth anniversary of Pevi Call's founder Balwant Rai Kalyanji Parekh. To tell us more about this campaign and all of Pevi Call's iconic films, we are joined in by Bharat Puri, Managing Director at Pidilite Industries and Piyush Pandey, Chief Advisor at Ogilvy India. Both of you, welcome to CNBC TV 18. Welcome to Storyboard. So good to have you in the studio. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Wonderful to be here. Yes, Bharat, let's begin this conversation with you. You guys have done it again. Tell us more about creating this Jugal Bandi film. What was the thought and the insight behind? What were the conversations that you had with Piyush and his team? See, as far as Fevi Call is concerned, we have a timeless brief. Yeah. It is very simple. A Mazboot Jor, the timeless bond, B, iconic work. Whenever both of them come together, we, we never it's never time to a campaign this year, this quarter, or so on and so forth. The wonderful thing about Fevicol is it is now way beyond just an adhesive brand. It's like something that all of India owns. And therefore, when we feel we've got something worthy of Fevicol, the wonderful thing is between Piyush, Prasoon, myself, by the time it goes to three of us, you know, a lot of times I will be excited. Pew will be excited. Prasoon will say, no, no, it doesn't beat Fevicol. At times, Prasoon will be excited. I will be excited. Pew will say, no, it doesn't beat Fevicol and so on and so forth. <laughs> so here was a time when we saw, we heard this so on and so forth, etc. We said, yes, this is Fevicol. I think we took finally about six months. Yeah. In discussion, this, that, etc. So on, how do we do it right? So, but you can see that, you know, whenever we do something on Fevicol, it's done with a lot of love and affection. It's done with the objective of meeting a certain standard, which hopefully is a benchmark for brands like this. And most importantly, it's something that must bring a smile to your face. What is the creative process? How do you come up, come about like one campaign after the other, sticking true to what all the messaging and all the communication that Fevicol has done over the years? I think uh, it is now in our, the blood group is white, yeah, mm -hmm. as far as all of us are concerned. So, the best and the most beautiful thing about Pidlite and Madhukar Bhai and Bharat and in the good old days, uh, BK Parik, is that when they say, you make the next one, when you are happy. Now, that is not just freedom, that's a great responsibility. Yeah. Somebody has placed that trust on you. Mm. So then they own your shower time, as I always call it. Hmm. Then we'll come, we'll reject, I will reject, Prasoon will reject, he will reject, Madhukar Bhai will reject. But before that, we have rejected it ourselves between Prasoon and me about 20 times. Yeah. So when people ask you for things with tick, 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 then they get mediocre work. Yeah. When people ask you uh, the thing of saying, I know, I can trust you. That yeah. is the beautiful thing and that is the most responsible thing yeah. And and the responsibility that you're given. Hmm. People think that we shoot from the hip. Hmm. Well, Fevicol and us, we are joined at the hip. <laughs> so it's fine. This, as I mentioned, also marks 100th birth anniversary of uh, BK Parekh. You know, it's fascinating. I mean, if you look at the story of Sri BK Parekh, hmm. here is somebody who in 1959 invented... Fevicol all on his own, replaced it with animal glue and then the journey is saying that listen, first I'm going to work with carpenters, B, I'm going to create a brand hmm. and you know there is so much inspiration in the way he did it that it's even today you know the timeless principles of Pidilite, A, work with the user, B, make sure that the brand is more important. I mean do you know we've done research Shibani, across a hundred countries this is the only country where a glue brand, an adhesive brand, is one of the top 10 consumer brands in the country and has been so for like wow. 25 years. It was There's number one a couple of years yes. back in FMCG. Yeah. And can you imagine there is no other country where an adhesive brand figures in the top 10 or top ever. Hmm. And that, you know, really is a tribute to the man, his vision and his uh, ability in the 1970s carried on by his son, the then MD, Mr. Madhukar Parikh where over time, Fevicol has actually just come to define 
something which is an timeless bond. It's way beyond an adhesive. It's way beyond something that just sticks things together. Yeah. It's something that signifies a timeless bond. And as far as Mr. Parikh is concerned, I think one of the best stories Piyush will tell you is the first time we created the Dam Laga Ke Haisha, Haisha film, yeah. it was not for Fevicol. It was actually for another brand. And when he saw, he says, this is too good a film to be for a small brand. This should be for Fevicol. Can we redo it and do it for Fevicol? <laughs> yeah. Never happened. This tells you about Never the man and like, again. you know. Yeah. It was for a brand called Fevi Tight. Yeah, Fevi Tight. Uh, and when they saw the thing and he said, Mr. B.K. Parikh said, he said, uh, I have a problem and my heart sank. Huh. I said, uh, he has a problem and I love the film. The problem is not with your ad. The problem is with my brand. Yeah. Make it for the larger brand. <laughs> we'll pay for it again. Go make it. And he and his son, Madhukar Bhai, they actually opened up the gates for Pretty Light, where we are today for Fevi Call, where yeah. we are today it's all thanks to them. Yeah, and such a long-standing association with Ogilvy, yes. with yourself. Uh, can you tell us more on <coughs> some of uh, the other campaigns that you worked with them and, you know, some stories behind those the campaigns? Stories are fantastic. Each one is a fantastic story. It'll take time, but I yes, will try and make it short. Yes, we have all the time and we uh, have all the years. Quick story is a great story because yeah. uh, when I did the ad, I actually went with a demo thing with a glass of water and a coin and a, a pencil. Yeah. And I went there and everyone, all the people at Pid Light, they said, what is this? And I said, I put the coin, I put some very quick, and I stuck the coin and brought it out. He said, why this? I said, because one of you is going to ask, we don't stick in water. He said, I was going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> so the kind of the process. So that is, is when the fishing ad came yeah, about. that's right. Yeah. And there are many stories on MCL and... And Rof, Bharat came in. Bharat, Bharat is my old associate also for 40 years. Yes. From Asian Page time. Yes, yes. I was getting so, there. No, in fact, the lovely thing is, you know, when we were making before this the sofa ad. Yeah. It, that's you know, a brilliant ad. Yes. The sofa ad was actually first, you know, Prasur and Piyush because the team had constrained them and said, listen, so many seconds, we can't do more. So Prasun had written that ad and he wrote everything in and as a poetry. Yeah. And then Bharat and Madhukar Bhai were out there and mm. Madhukar Bhai said, Prasun, can't we sing it? Our ads always have music and Bharat said yes. Yeah, yeah. Prasun turned around and said, but Madhukar Bhai and Bharat, it will go up in length by seven, eight seconds. Hmm. Uh, because the singing needs space. Yes. And uh, Madhukar Bhai said, so what happens? <laughs> Make it. Yeah. And that added magic. Yeah. Music added magic. And hmm. the fact <laughs> that it was originally... He was saying, maybe we can do this as a support to radio. We said, no, this is the ad. <laughs> Let's make this. Forget yeah. any other. This is and, the 60 years. This is the uh, completely different angle from what we have heard from many, many clients. And I want younger clients to hear this story. Yeah. When they say, can't we make it shorter? Yeah. There was a client saying, can't we make it longer? Yeah. We started with the Jugal Bandi film, but this Jugal Bandi, I know, has lasted for decades. Uh, first with Asian Paints, then Cadbury's. Cadbury then Pidilite. Uh, Bharat, tell us, how does it feel working with Piyush every time over the past so many decades? You know, I must tell you one thing. This man is the same in, from a work perspective over 40 years. There are three things that define him. Yeah. The first is his passion for the work. So the un attendant thing, unfortunately, with this passion of the work is he has this habit of having chai in the early in the morning and calling <laughs> you with his ideas. So that passion has always been there and I've seen it across each of these three. The second is a sense of ownership. Hmm. See, whether it was Asian Paints, whether it was Cadbury and now it is Pidilai. Piyush has a sense of ownership and you know, one of the things I recall always with a lot of affection is hmm. we were going through the Cadbury incident when we yeah. had... A, Piyush was in my office pretty much every second day. What is happening? What can we do? How can we... You know, that is that tells you about a person's ownership. That also tells you about his character. Yeah. So, you know, first passion, second ownership, and the third is he's never lost his sense of fun. Hmm. You know, and we've never worried about a lot of times, and then you know, Piyush was talking about lessons to younger marketeers. We've together made some lemons, <laughs> but we have never <laughs> ever got into this blame game of yes, they, we just said, yeah, nahi chala, let's move mm -hmm. on. As long yeah, as we yeah. get seven and eight out of ten yeah. right, ek do nahi bhi chale, yeah. to koi problem nahi. No, you and, said a lot of th good things about me. Let me tell you a story. Again, if younger people are watching this program, think about what we have done in the past. There have been ads that we spoke on the phone yeah. and there was an urgency. Yeah. Since it's World Cup time, that hmm. was World Cup time too. Hmm. And I said, Bharat, I'm going to do this like this. Hmm. 
and you'll see it in the newspaper tomorrow morning. Not before that. <laughs> he said, go ahead. And large ad that's in the... That's the kind of trust. That's huh? the kind of trust. And yeah. And that you earn. Yeah. Trust is always earned. But has, own... has it reached a point where you've said that no, yaar, Piyush is doing more than this time. He's doing more than this. You're pushing uh, the boundaries or the limit too oh, much. And the wonderful thing is, see, over time, because we there is no issue around any agenda, hmm. a lot of times he will say that he's not doing this new work. I will tell him, Piyush, no, yeah. this is not... There's never a, this thing, you know, like, you know... Uh, there's no presentation. There's yeah. no there's presentation. Conversation. It's a yeah. conversation. And, you know, in the end... A lot of times we agree to disagree. It's not mm. that we agree on everything. Yeah. But there's a lot... Of, I mean, he's an expert on certain areas. Mm. I must respect that. Mm. I, I know my brands. He knows that. And a lot of times... And I'll he doesn't sit out there talking yeah. to me with a list of things of tick, 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 tick. Mm. So you're not... Uh, you're open. You're having yeah. a conversation with somebody who knows his job yeah. and who respects you for your job and you do the same. Yeah. Then magic. Happens. I remember last time, uh, you know, when you were reviving the Cadbury cricket film, hmm. you mentioned how you showed it to Bharat. One of, Bharat was one of the first few people to see uh, that film, even yeah. not being with Mondelez or correct, Cadbury's correct. Uh, yes. back then. And he was the first person to see <coughs> the yes. reaction. So You know, it's, there is something iconic about these things. Huh. There is something presaging it. Mm -hmm. Do you know that I saw the first that uh, Pedilite Dham Laga Ke Haisha Fevicol ad? <laughs> In Ogilvy, in their old, I remember that, you know, Churchgate office. Well, I, and know. I was in the office, no, no, partner, you have to come and see this. It wasn't yeah. still presented to the client. Yeah. And then I saw the cricket thing in a similar fashion. <laughs> and how was I to know that I'm going to be, you know, yeah. in these two companies and a no few years later? No, no, never have we said to each other, yeah, kisi ko dikhana mat, hmm. kisi ko batana mat. That is said. You don't have to say it. That's yeah. understood. On that note, it is time for a short break. This conversation is about to get even more interesting. You don't go anywhere. We will be right back. We are in conversation with Bharat Puri, Managing Director at Pidilite Industries and Piyush Pandey, Chief Advisor at Ogilvy India, on Pevi Call's fabulous ads over the years and stories behind them. Many of the, uh, you know, Pevi Call stories are also set in Rajasthan. The storytelling is around stories in Rajasthan. Is it intentional, Piyush? Have you, like, you know, does it come... Half of this question, Bharat will corroborate later. <laughs> One is, I was born in Rajasthan. Yes. Two is the best carpenters. And yeah. the maximum number of carpenters come from Rajasthan. Right, Bharat? Correct. 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 <laughs> so there must be something. I didn't plan it. Yeah. But there's a God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, Fevicol has this unique ability to not just cut through and cut, a, cut across the audience in the country, but across boundaries, across, uh, you know, borders as well, uh, to, let's say, uh, Pakistan, to Bangladesh, anyway. to neighboring countries uh, as well, Bharat. Can you share anecdotes? I believe that Todo Nahi Jodo campaign was extremely popular, um, you know, in uh, Pakistan, for that matter, and it was around the time when the tensions were rising Rise. between <laughs> India and Pakistan. No, it's fascinating. You know, you know, I still remember, and again, I was not with Pidilite. When I was in Cadbury, I was also looking after Pakistan. And I remember uh, I meeting a Pakistani businessman who told me, you know, when India and Pakistan open trade, these are the brands that I want to, you know, uh, get to Pakistan. Yeah. And his first two were Fevicol and Bajaj. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, that he and here is a brand which he has nothing to do with so on, but he's clear that's on his list. Yeah. I mean, I'll tell you, I went to Bangladesh. We have a, a actually flourishing operation. We have two factories in Bangladesh. Bangladesh is in many ways, a, you know, microcosm of India doing very well. We are the leaders. The immigration fellow asked me, sir, why are you here? And I said, like, you know, I'm here for Pidilite. What does Pidilite do? I said, Fevicol. He played the whole Fevicol ad to me. The immigration. <laughs> then he's it asking happens. me in Bengali, like, you know, when is the next ad coming? We are waiting for a long time. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the wonderful thing about Fevicol. And, you know, the wonderful thing is today, whether it's the Middle East, hmm. whether it's large parts of Africa, hmm. the two elephants of Fevicol and Fevicol is a very well-known brand. Hmm. I mean, the greatest compliment yeah. is... If you go to a Tanzania, hmm. we are the number one selling brand as Fevicol. The number hmm. two are Chinese lookalikes of Fevicol. Let's speak about business. And, you know, since you mentioned about uh, Tanzania and Middle East and other markets, as Fevicol is expanding its international footprint, what are some of the opportunities and challenges that you see? See, we are very clear at Pidilite and Fevicol obviously leads that, that we want to be an emerging markets multinational. Hmm. India, in many ways, is an emerging market that, you know, encompasses all kinds of emerging markets given the length and breadth of the country and the different states. Hmm. 
So therefore, whether it's the our neighboring countries, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, and all of that, whether it is the Middle East, whether it is Africa, hmm. we're on we're again on a journey where we're looking at organic growth on a consistent basis. The wonderful thing is now we have over 200 people in Africa. We have plants in Egypt, we have plants in Kenya, we have a small bottling operation in Algeria. And the wonderful thing is, if you go to any of these places, you will find that we're doing it exactly with the India formula. Hmm. Work with users, create the brand, Hmm. build strong dealer relationships. Fortunately, most of these places still have mom and pop stores hmm. and therefore become the brand of choice. Hmm. And therefore, it's a journey. We're clear that, you know, that, that you can't microwave this journey. Hmm. But we are on the journey and fortunately, we're seeing a lot of success. So exploring newer markets, newer regions, uh, coming up with innovations, newer products, uh, you know, how do you uh, retain that core essence of brand and that messaging alive as you you know go through this entire expansion see i think and how does ogilvy help I'll, yes. my next question will be to uh, piyush on okay. that you let him answer then yeah. i'll tell her the sri lanka story about fix it yes <laughs> so you know the thing here is we're very clear and all of us who worked in emerging markets long enough shibani know that never neglect your core hmm. for the newer more trendy more sexier things so on so forth two-thirds of your growth is always going to come out of the core in growing economies. Hmm. Therefore, at any point of time, your strategy must be core plus. Hmm. So whether it's Fevicol, whether it is Fix It, whether it is Fevicquick, we, you will see that there is a lot of work, there's a lot of innovation coming out of each of these brands. I mean, you know, most people still know Fevicol as one Fevicol. Do you know Fevicol has 200 SKUs? Hmm. There's a Fevicol Heatex, which is for kitchens. There's a Fevicol Marine, which hmm. is where you have water. There's an easy spray, which is an aerosol. There's a, a hyper star, which is for quick setting and so on and so mm. forth. We've just launched a whole range of Fevi Quick. Uh, now Fevi Quick is from rupees five to 75. Mm. Any need you have, Fevi Quick will fulfill it. Mm. So A, we're very clear that the core must be a focus. It must be getting you two thirds of your growth. Mm. If it has to get you two thirds of your growth, mm. your brand, must always be relevant, contemporary, and fresh. Hmm. And that's where my friend and Ogilvy come in, where, you know, we're saying that, listen, we are known, our moat as a company, these days the yeah. analysts all will ask you, what's your moat? And we say our moat is our brand, our user relationship, and our sales and distribution depth. Yeah. So in that, the brand is preeminent. And yeah. therefore, that's where you will constantly, as we speak, we're looking at, you will see a lot of fresh work, in the next six months out of all of our core brands. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. just one. Yeah, and it keeps that, you know, that uh, fun factor, that quirkiness yeah, everyone, alive we, we in that. across all the campaigns, did, whether it's 60 yeah. seconds or whether it's 15 no, seconds. No, it's we, intact. we recently did something for Dr. Fixit in yes. Sri Lanka. Yes, And we used the Manama. Huh. And uh, the entire thing, I, I sat on those meetings, I wrote that thing of front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot. <laughs> we had such a lot of fun and we went for a off-site meeting to Colombo yeah. uh, last December. And there was such a lot of good feel from people out there. So it's nice, it's lovely. I think, again, the people that uh, Pillite associates with know where they come from. Yeah. They are open to ideas. They're open to share ideas which they have. Yeah. So I think that's the beautiful thing. Today, I'm, I'm actually missing Madhukar Bhai and Prasoon Pandey because if I look back, there's no ad that Prasoon has not made for Fevicol since 1995. Five, yeah. right. And there's no ad that, to date, the chairman of the company who doesn't see before making, not to check, but to have fun with fun us, with to contribute yeah. with things. I wish many companies had that kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And that consistency of, you know, the same people working on the same brand over the past many years. Uh, Piyush, as you pass on the baton to like the younger creative uh, within Ogilvy who will be working on uh, Fevicol brands going forward, what is it that you tell them? Like, what is it that you tell them about the brand? What is your insight? What is your advice <coughs> to that younger creative person? Yeah, I think the advice is very simple. Hmm. That never forget which brand you come from, hmm. never forget where you come from. Yeah. You come from down, down to earth scenario. They come from down to earth products. We love to make people smile while we sell. Never forget that. Yeah. Otherwise, somewhere down the line, wherever I am, whenever I retire, when I retire, 
I'll be watching you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a scary, I will be watching you. But that brings me to the question where I am tempted to ask you to pick your favorite child from all the Febicol uh, brand ads that we have seen over the years. So, Piyush, which one has been your favorite over the past uh, many years okay. that you've worked on? It's a on? very difficult question, as you said. Yeah. But I'll tell you the milestone. What changed the scenario? It was a Febicol egg. Egg ad. Egg yeah. opened it for us for all times to come. Yeah. I remember it used to come during uh, matches, cricket matches, yeah. between the breaks, between the over yeah. breaks. And I would be, as a kid, <laughs> would be looking forward to see the egg <laughs> and it would make me laugh every time it would be played on television. It still, it still does when I show it abroad. Yeah. Because there are no words. They don't need any words. Yes. Bharat, your favourite one? It's a very difficult question. You know, I, I must tell you, even before I joined Pidlight, I remember I used to show that advertising transcends language. You would show the Fevicol bus and say it works, so on and so forth. But if you ask me, I still think it's a close contest between Sofa and Jugal Bandi. I think Jugal Bandi is also going to be one of those which, like, you know, is going to keep growing. It's fascinating the kind of feedback we are getting. I mean, it's, it's coming amazing. from all... Uh, different quarters yeah. and of course the wonderful thing you can see also is that every politician these days mentions Fevicol <laughs> in their uh, <laughs> alliances, in the break, in their breakups, so on and so forth. So you can see and we're right my, there. One, one thing I want to share with the, that when the Prime Minister in his first term went to Japan and speaking to the diaspora, he said, Bharat or Japan ka jol, Fevicol ke jol se bhi jada majboot hai. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I don't think anyone can pay the Prime Minister any kind of... This. No celebrity can compare with him. Yeah. And we got it as a gratis from, a, from yeah. the Prime Minister of the country. I think that's the brand talking, not me. Uh, Bharat, final question to you. While we've seen great uh, growth numbers in the last uh, financial year, um, what is the trend like, uh, you know, when it comes to furnitures in the country? And how does uh, Fevicol stack up to that going forward? See, the wonderful thing is India is unique. Hmm. This is the only country in the world where furniture is custom made at the consumer's home. Even hmm. today, about 80% of all furniture is custom made at the consumer's home and is cheaper than factory made furniture. So, you know, this whole uh, value proposition of furniture made to your specifications, made to suit the alcoves and, the, you know, the curves and, uh, you know, uh, decor of your home at a cost cheaper than factory fed furniture is an amazing value proposition. Obviously, the wonderful thing is, and this is again, uh, when we go to consumer homes, the consumer does not make furniture if she does not see her Fevicol can. So the Fevicol can is the mark of that this furniture is going to be long lasting. Yeah. And may this long continue. So great. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. What a wonderful conversation. Thanks, Bharat. Thanks, Th Piyush. Thank you. Thank you, Shibani. Always lovely to talk to you. Thank you so much. With that, it's a wrap. Goodbye.